You say that, you've never walked in my shoes. I said, yes, I have. Because 25 years ago, I was you. And the way that I got to this spot was to just take one breath at a time, one step at a time. And I'm really happy to have everyone here and really look at myself and really see who I am. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so if um, anyone else would like to speak, uh, I'm sorry, we don't, we don't know your name yet. Hi, my name's Chuck. Hi, Hi Chuck. Chuck. And I'm a drug addict. I think tonight I did something, uh, you know, kind of bad. Um, as a matter of fact, I know it was bad. Um, I got about six months sober. I had a really bad migraine headache today, and I was going to take a pain pill. And my wife and I fought for a while, and for no reason, because she wanted me to come to a meeting, and I didn't want to. I wanted to take a pill. You know, and I know better. I know that I can't take one pain pill. There's no such thing. You know, and then when I got here, I thought you guys were weird. You know, I will think my definition of weird has changed, but this is where I needed to be tonight. I mean, without a doubt, this place saved my life. You guys saved my life tonight. It's just amazing how that one little pill can do so much damage. Because for me, there is no one. There's two, then there's five, then there's ten. And right now I'm working on a, a fourth step with uh, my sponsor. It's very difficult, no pain, no gain, and this is painful, you know. We're doing some stuff I do not want to do right now. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I feel good inside. I feel peace in my heart, and I need peace. And the only place I've ever got peace, ever, is here, with you guys. Joe Squad, a clip. Thank you. Actors are so right on. They look so real, you know. You see real people, and that's a skill, Nadia. Thank you. Truly remarkable. And I like what you do with the camera work as well. Who does your camera work? How many? It's actually a new cinematographer that I'm working with. Okay. Um, I, I tested him out, well, really, like our relationship with like a music video we did. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt like he's an extension now of my vision, right? You know, technically, right. And migraine was our first narrative project, and then he would go on to shoot Fortune House, and then uh -huh. my new feature in post production, The Quitter. Uh -huh. um, but we had a lot of fun with this. And yes. Wanted to keep it real and eavesdrop into the lives of these guys at this meeting. Right, right. Do you give a lot of notes, a lot of directions to the actors? How does it work? How are you on set, Matt? Um, very collaborative. Okay. You know, I like to create that atmosphere, mm -hmm. like we were talking about. The circle of trust. Absolutely. Good. Um, and I know exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. However, you know, I, I give the actor room to find it. Right. And even if I don't know the answer of how to improve it, mm -hmm. that's okay. I'll admit it as well, and we'll find it together. Okay. Or, you know, we'll just keep on working it and, and, and making it happen. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, I give specific direction I'll never forget when I, I first got into the business, um, I was still an actor, but like starting to get interested in filmmaking. An actor friend of mine booked a, a big role in a, a Nick Gomez movie, uh, uh -huh. New Jersey Drive. Spike Lee executive produced it, and I was just interested back then, and I'm like, well, what was it like working on set with the director? Right. And he was like, you know, he would come up to us individually and give us notes. Mm. And that just stuck with me, I'm like, wow. Uh -huh. So even on like, you know, my perception of a movie set back then was like, it must be chaotic, and it is, and yeah. crazy, and a lot of people, but the director was still able to communicate direction privately, individually. Right. You know, out of respect, out of sensitivity, or just keep it personal, uh -huh. and maybe I'll give one actor a note and not tell the other actor. Right. So we could keep it spontaneous. Right, um, right. So that really stuck with me, and ever since that, the way I direct, 
you know, th there could be a general note in a scene between two actors, like, hey, you guys aren't listening. Right, you know, right. Really something listen. soft. But you, you know, something general. Yeah. But then now, I just love to give very specific, a specific note. to everyone. So all those guys, you know. Amazing. I'm just running around and just. Going one to one. Giving little tweaks. No, so, no, you're white. She's a producer. Yes. So let's Juliana. talk about that, Juliana. How does it work? I mean, how does it? I mean, just kind of wondering how you know, how does it work it, together? It, it works great. I mean, a lot of people are fascinated. You know, husband and wife working together. Um, but you know, she's my backbone, and you know, she's going to be honest and truthful. And she's going to tell you exactly and, what you want to hear when you don't want to hear it. Exactly. And and that took some time getting used to. And now I really feel like we have a great foundation and a process when we tackle work. And, you know, we're just elevating the project. We always put the project ahead of us. It's okay. not about me. It's not about her. Even it's not before about the relationship? Me. I don't know about that, that man. Still? Well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Ouch. You know, okay. You, you it's want, needed. Yeah. It's, it's a whole team effort. Right. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's important. Right. On my sets, the PA is crucial. Sure. That PA one day may be a producer who will hire me right. when my career is going downhill right. or not happening. Right. So you have to have a lot of respect. They always say re respect the assistance. Right. You know, out there. And, you know, everyone's crucial and important. And I don't want any egos on my sets. And right, if, I love that. If there is, you know, you're, we're, you're we're, fired. Get, we're getting rid of them. Good, yeah, good. You know, I hate that. You don't want I, that bad apple. No, you, you don't go. want it because it's bad you know? energy. Yeah. It's and it'll horrible. The, you know, I'm about performances. You know, yes. For me, story's king. And then it's the performances. And then the technical stuff. Right. If, if you don't like the acting or the story, Forget who cares it. what it looks like? Right. You know, but if you shoot on a little rinky-dinky handheld camera, yeah. but the performances are Agreed. rich and the story, you're going to be more forgiven. Of course. So you got to have that nice atmosphere for the actors yes. to execute. And for the product, the for the, for the, product, the result. Yeah. And we're going to be showing, because this is time is going so fast. It's 7.52, mm -hmm. and I can't believe it. I want to show a second clip of Pounds... Carmine and Michael Aaron of uh, I'm yeah. waiting for my boys and my love to my both both of them and Gloria and Dean when you guys are ready we can uh, go for it and I don't know when that's gonna be but hey freaking happy when I'm eating food I love it how's my fellow addict though fuck off food and it too if it takes I wasn't the one in the hospital he's lying to himself. He's lying to your mother and father, and worst of all, he's lying to you. Now, you were here when he came up in the hospital, right? All you care about is eating. Then you show you're a piece of garbage. You're a loser with no future. You're a nothing. All you got to do is worry about yourself, brother. Whatever help you need, man. So, interested in this property. When I said I'd do whatever I can to help you out, this is not what I had in mind. I had to get away from my parents. There's too many luxuries at home. You know what I'm talking about. So what are you going to do? You're going to move out here in the middle of nowhere? I was dying back at home. And you know what? You are too. I'm dying. I'm dying. No backing out on me, man. You promised me you'd give me two weeks. Now don't do this to me. You got a good heart. Hope you don't lose it with the weight. Never. Let's not forget that food is a legal addiction. Everywhere I go, I'm constantly reminded of food. Please, some things are tougher to kick than others. Let's just leave it at that. Drugs have to be seeked out. Food is accessible. That's what makes food tougher to kick. No one is ever afraid of the fat guy. The fat guy's never going to take your girlfriend. That's why it's harder to be fat than it is to be a drug addict. You're comparing yourself to me, comparing your life to me. The worst thing that ever happened to you is your mom cooked too much eating for dinner. That's the worst thing that ever happened to you. Come on, let's go! Did he say anything? Does he have any plans for ever coming home? Monday came. That right Monday came and I started. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to tell everybody that Monday came and I'm getting it done. How many times? It might be a thousand. But on thousand and one, I started. tell you when I went to see that film I was it's a big deal to see people that you look up to in a big screen mm -hmm. it's a big huge if I'm allowed to say a fucking deal <laughs> to see people that you admire people that you look up to in a big screen because bottom line is so damn hard to get there absolutely it's so hard and um, God Putting a film together like you do, working with those actors, Michael, Carmine. I mean, you guys are going to keep working together. I know that, right? Absolutely. We hope one day we'll do it again, and we've done it many times. I mean, the dedication 
that Carmine and Michael had just physically. Yes. And I don't want to have too many spoilers right now for those who haven't seen Pounds, but, you know, it's about food addiction, and Michael's character is a drug addict. Right. And, you know, they it's both, a whole journey. Yeah, and we follow, you know, this story over the course of a year. Basically, Carmine's character, uh -huh. you know, really hates what he's become, uh -huh. and he needs to get away from his family and friends, and he invites his drug addict friend, best friend, right. Sacco, uh -huh. to uh, come up to the country Trailer. with him. Mm -hmm. and they get a trailer, and we start to eavesdrop into their world over the course of these seasons. Uh -huh. um, and don't want to give too much <laughs> away. Yeah. But, you know, physically, the, the physical dedication and just these actors, we shot Pounds over the course of 27 months. Right. Um, so the whole cast would come back every three, four months when we would start up again. Uh -huh. Talk about being dedicated. Right. And, um, and then just the performances of, of what these two specifically brought to it. Um, the entire it's cast. Outstanding. Like, it yeah. was a movie that it came so beautifully together. Because sometimes in movies, you kind of like, yeah, I, like I said, it's hard to make it the whole thing work because I guess everything has to make sense. You have to have the right casting, mm -hmm. the director, the editing, the music, everything. Is, there's so many elements that have to come together. But like you said, because you know your craft, the acting, if the story is solid and the acting is there, God, people that just die. Yeah, these guys brought it and, uh, you know, it was an incredible, incredible experience. Yeah. You know, just uh, we shot on film. Who's shooting on film these days? <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. You know, it just had a real labor of love to it in front of the camera and behind the camera. And What about the editing? Do you see it a lot with the editor and the yeah, cutting I mean, room? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The final um, cut, is that program is tough. I yeah. So, so we so would, hard. you know, the film was pretty much shot in linear order. Okay. Um, so you, we would shoot a chunk and edit that uh -huh. and then be rewriting anything, you know, uh -huh. for the next segment and so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, the editor, we, we had a chance to edit it over, you know, over like two years. Right, right. Um, so that gives so, you a lot of time. So that gives a lot of luxury, but still, right. like you're saying, you got to create that through line. Right. For, for each segment, we shot four segments and then some second unit to connect. It was like 46 days of principal photography. It's like two independent features. Um, so that, that was our film school. Right. You know, that was the training ground. Just got, that was the first thing that... I ever directed. Yes. Um, and, uh, a feature film. Know. That's kind of ironic. It just, you know, the director just came all the way around. Yeah, I was trying to get a short film off the ground, and I couldn't. And this, and this, the... this wonderful opportunity came along. Right. You know, the original goal was Carmine wanted to do it to save his life. You know, he was struggling with his weight, and he'll, he'll tell you about that. And, yes. um, you know, so he, he wrote the early drafts of Pound. Uh -huh. And he's like, you know, I'm writing something, and I want you to read it. And I'm like, yeah, I would love to read it. Yeah. I didn't really know what, what it was about. Uh -huh. And he gives me this script, like 200 pages, called The Trailer. Uh -huh. And when I read it, it was just, I've never seen a movie. Well, we didn't see it yet, but I've never read a script what an overweight lead character addicted to food in a dramatic form. Right. You know, and there's humor in it, and Carmine's a, a lot great of humor. He's comic. A comic. Um, but it guy. had, you know, I could see it was very deep. And right. um, I gave him feedback, and he eventually asked me, well, can you jump on and, you know, co-write this with me? And we worked the script. Uh -huh. um, and then eventually, when I got really interested in directing, he's like, I would love for you to direct it. I knew him like a, 10 years already. Right. And I'm like, I would love to do this. You and know, he I trusted know you, you, you trusted him. You guys exactly. have that. Because that comes and, through in, in, during the, uh, the performances, during the film. And Gloria, I'm just, I'm not directing, but yeah, I am directing. I want to make sure that we got the credits going on because it's almost 8 o'clock and I didn't see any credits rolling. Or maybe I got too distracted by my man here because he <laughs> obviously knows the craft and I didn't see them rolling. Um, but it's, it's um, enticing uh, for any audience member to feel that empathy. Because uh, we, we as audience members, we can relate to many levels to what we see. But you have to buy it. You have to love it. You have to. You can't hate mm -hmm. a film. I mean, I, obviously you can, but right. that's not the intention. You want the audience to love it. You Absolutely. want the audience yeah. to embrace it. Yeah. And uh, I, I like the fact that you know the characters that you worked on are characters who got things going on. You know, mm -hmm. I like flaws. Yes. Yeah. I like dysfunctional people. Mm -hmm. I like darkness. I don't, you know, it's, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. uh, as a woman, I'm very interested, but as an actor, of course I am. And I, I like to see films that challenge me. Is it, when I, you want to see the whole journey from A to Z. Mm -hmm. And you, like I said, you're pretty good at it. You're pretty good, like, 
So let's do one.